When someone gets their first paycheck and is earning their living and able to contribute to our economy, I think they're no longer a refugee, they're a former refugee. I'm Ted Barber, I'm a co-founder of Prosperity Candle in East Hampton, just north of Springfield. There are refugees in the United States for many different reasons, but we focus on employing women who are coming out of war zones and relocated here through federal programs. So we're a business, just like any other business, with one exception. We balance profit with this mission to help women from places of conflict to thrive. When I arrived in U.S. from refugee camp, I'm excited and nervous too about the language and I don't have transportation. I don't have enough money to pay the rent. I keep in my mind, if I try harder, things will get better, but it is not easy. Muko's been with us for seven years. She started out as a candle maker, but now as part of our management team. We make anywhere from a few hundred candles a day to a thousand candles a day, all by hand. From the very beginning, we saw ourselves as an online company. We don't have a retail store, so everyone is finding us through our website. That was very important because we wanted to reach people across the United States and around the world, and we do. We have customers all over the world. Over 80% of our candles are made right here in the Springfield area, and we support entrepreneurs in Baghdad, enabling them to make a product to sell locally, as well as export candles to the United States, and then we sell them through our website. It was violent there, and we weren't allowed to even travel to Iraq, so we had to figure out other ways to train them. Here's this guy in Western Mass wearing an apron, creating these YouTube videos for women in Baghdad. By the third or fourth video, <laughs> you could tell I was pretty hot. The moment we opened the first box, we could feel it. There's nothing like holding something that you know someone across the world is handmade. We've witnessed quite a transformation in the women's lives. For example, Muko, she applied for citizenship and passed the test and recently purchased her first home, which is an extraordinary experience for anyone, but even more so knowing where she came from and where she started. I really like to live in Springfield. I got a good neighbors and like a great school for my kids. They can build their dream, but I don't like the weather. <laughs> Prosperity Candle has grown tremendously over the years, but also we are having a positive impact on these wonderful people, their families, their children, the next generation of Americans.